issue facing so many women out there and so many couples. Time is 8.13. Thank goodness we have Mindy Berkson here, international fertility consultant in town from the States, sharing all the latest information and all of the frustrations. So many tweets are already coming in on my account where people are saying, listen, we're, we're there right now. So what to do? First off, let's look at the trend. Um, you know, decades before us, people were getting married, having babies. What, early 20s was the norm? Now, maybe late 30s. Early 30s if you're lucky. Thinking about children after the career. So what's happening? Because the stats are interesting. I didn't realize at the age of 30, ladies, 90% of our eggs are depleted? 90% of the finite egg supply that you're born with are depleted. Wow. So fertility actually been, begins to decrease at the age of 27. By 30, it's even more diminished. And obviously, as the years go on, more and more. And the chances of being able to conceive on your own significantly decrease. Okay, so that's a good one then. How long should one or a couple try Mm -hmm. until they actually seek out alternative methods. I mean, is it a few months? Is it years? It depends on your age, but if you think that there's a problem, you should absolutely find a reproductive endocrinologist, a specialist in the field to give you a diagnosis and a treatment plan because it's always better to embark on treatment sooner rather than later. Okay, so is there a ballpark figure though? Is it, is it a matter of months? Is it a year of trying? Three months, six months, depending on your age. That 35 plus, certainly three to six months, and okay. you should find a, a reproductive endocrinologist. And I know I have a lot of friends who've actually gone through several treatments. They can be very expensive, so you say make sure you're emotionally and financially ready for that and to set that budget aside because it doesn't mean it's going to work, Well, putting together realistic expectations for a treatment cycle that meet your financial budget will help you maximize your chances of success over time and minimize your financial expenditure. But emotionally, you have to be ready Mm -hmm. to seek those treatment options. And do you tell family and friends? Absolutely. Yeah. It's so much easier if there's awareness about it and people understand what you're going through. And just being able to acknowledge those feelings with your friends, your family, your partner, and being on the same page, I find is so beneficial for my yeah. clients. And you bring up a good point. If somebody already has one child and they're trying for a second some four or five years later, the worst thing you can say as a friend is, but you've already got the one that doesn't help them at all. It doesn't yeah. help. When, you're, when you want to be pregnant, you want to be pregnant yesterday. And you can freeze your eggs. You can if freeze eggs. If you're thinking eggs. about it. New, new treatment option, but um, egg freezing is becoming very prevalent in Canada as well as in the United States. And it's an option for women up to the age of 38 to freeze eggs for use at a future time. Oh, really? Up to the age of 38? 38. 38. So tick-tock, tick-tock. <laughs> All right. For more information, everybody, see Mindy tonight. Creating Your Family Seminar is taking place at Biagio Ristorante. For more information, creatingyourfamily.com. That begins at 6 p.m this evening or again creatingyourfamily.com for more information and answers. Thank you so much. Thank right you. Right now Dan. over to Pam Cito, proud mom of three in the newsroom. <laughs> Thank you so much.